convinced this nation was on a perilous course. And because I have such strong feelings about what must be done, and I feel that I'm obliged to do all that I can. And unfortunately, the years since have proven him right. Our thanks to Josh Mankiewicz for that story, and I hope we all have learned something from what happened here in Butler, Pennsylvania. We want to thank you for joining us this evening for this historic NBC News special. I'm Tom Yamas. And I'm Hallie Jackson in Washington. Join Lester Holt tomorrow night as he sits down with President Biden for his first interview since that attempted assassination on former President Trump. And join Tom and I tomorrow live from Milwaukee for our coverage of the Republican National Convention. Obviously, all of it on the heels of this difficult moment in American history. For all of us here at NBC News, thank you for watching our special coverage. Good night, and we'll see you soon. NBC4 News at 6 starts with breaking news. Oh, we may disagree. We are not enemies. We're neighbors. And most importantly, we are fellow Americans. We must stand together. Now at 6, President Biden condemning political violence, calling for unity after former President Donald Trump survived an assassination attempt at a campaign rally yesterday. We want to thank you for joining us here at 6. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Kathy Vara. NBC4 News continues to cover the story from all angles. Pictures taken moments after a bullet grazed the president's ear. And now they are part of history. Tonight we just learned that California will be sending law enforcement officers to help secure the Republican National Convention. We are live in Milwaukee with more on that in just a moment. Plus, more details are also emerging. The FBI now investigating this shooting as an act of domestic terrorism. One spectator from the campaign rally in Pennsylvania is dead. Two others are critically injured. The Secret Service shot and killed the gunman who climbed on a roof 150 yards away to carry out the attack. He has been identified as 20, a 20-year-old 20 from Pittsburgh. This assassination attempt happened just days before Mr. Trump becomes the official Republican presidential nominee. This new video shows him arriving in Milwaukee tonight where the Republican National Convention is being held. We have team coverage for you tonight with the latest on the RNC kicking off tomorrow, the victims and the investigation into the shooter's motive. We begin now with our own Conan Nolan who joins us live from Milwaukee. Conan. That's right, far from the convention center and outside the secure perimeter. This is the Water Tower neighborhood, historic, uh, sort of the Hancock Park of Milwaukee. This is where the California delegation met for the first time just a little while ago, uh, where they tried to um, take a moment and appreciate what they've gone through the past 24 hours. They were also able to start getting in some politics as they heard from a former Californian who is now on the short list to be Donald Trump's vice president. It had all the elements of the Lake Michigan Garden Party the organizers had intended. But amidst the champagne and hors d'oeuvres, there was a feeling that all was not right. It's a heightened sense of we're all kind of looking around, you know, making sure that everything is okay. The massive California delegation to the Republican National Convention today at a historic mansion in Milwaukee's Water Tower neighborhood, still pondering the events just 24 hours earlier. A mood and a campaign that has changed. Profoundly. We've never seen it. We're still processing it. Republican National Committee man Sean Steele of Orange County says it didn't take long, though, for the political calculations to set in. The short-term analysis, there are a lot of Trump voters that don't vote because they just gave up and they never voted. They're going to vote. That, so the enthusiasm factor is sky high. And I think a lot of people feel probably incorrectly this is going to sense the presidency for, for Trump. Incorrectly because there is so much ground to cover and decisions to be made, including choosing a Trump running mate. But out of any tragedy that any of you have had in your life, and Catherine and I have had those in our lives, when you come out the backside of it and you're done grieving, you have to say, we have to make this for something. We have to make this count. One-time Silicon Valley billionaire, now North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, is on the short list, lobbying hard for the job before the California delegation by extolling the virtues of the man who will make the decision. One of the strongest, one of the most courageous, one of the most perseverance. You saw it on the yesterday, Donald Trump for President of the United States. I think he definitely could be the guy. Would you like to see him on the ticket? I'd love to see him on the ticket. He's, He's your choice. He's our choice. He 